things you will need. Your shotgun. Your magazine tube extension. And recommended. Your new magazine spring. Usually this comes along with your magazine tube extension if you ordered an aftermarket one. Mine didn't come with one, so I just bought an extra magazine spring. I could actually use the existing one on mine. However, it's recommended to use one as long as possible that would be suitable for your magazine tube extension. This one cost me around 150 pesos. That's around three dollars, so it really wasn't a problem. You may also need a flathead screwdriver. First step, remove the magazine cap. Be careful because for some shotguns, the magazine spring may be under tension and may fly out. In my case, I have a brass cap which holds the magazine spring in place. Now, simply installing the magazine tube extension from this point will not increase magazine capacity. Currently I can hold five, five shells in this one. If I just screw on the magazine tube extension, I will not increase my capacity yet. I need to remove this brass cap, which stops the magazine spring until this point only. When we remove it, we will be able to increase our capacity. Step two, using a flathead screwdriver, Remove the brass cap that holds the magazine spring in place. Carefully lift up and evenly space it out so as not to distort the brass cap. So slowly it goes up. Please be very careful when doing this and keep your hands or your fingers over the spring because this is under a lot of spring tension and this thing can just fly out like a bullet. So I feel that it's coming out already. I'm going to put my hand over this to keep things safe. And there you go, it just popped out. So be very, very careful when doing this. The spring is coming out, shoots right out. You can remove it. Our spring and our brass cap. After removing the brass cap and magazine spring, some of you may find obstructions inside your magazine tube such as lump dimples or metallic bumps which hinder the magazine follower from moving past that point. This can easily be modified or removed by using a rounded file, a dremel tool or a similar piece of equipment. After getting rid of this, you will be able to install your magazine tube extension without any problem. Here is the comparison of the stock spring above and the aftermarket spring which I bought. They're almost the same length, however the stock spring I believe compressed by just a bit. Aside from being bent a bit, when fully stretched out straight, it's still a bit shorter by just few millimeters probably you can use the original one for you guys with the same Acaralte competition you can use that if you don't have a spare one for your magazine tube extension 
step three. Simply reinsert the magazine spring now. And now you can screw in your magazine tube extension. A little tip while putting the spring in is to do it bit by bit, holding it down with your fingers with one hand and pushing it down with the other. Once you have enough slack, once you have enough room here, push down your magazine tube extension over it. There we go. And just slide it over. And then push down over. Get to the threading so we can start screwing it in. Snug. And that's it. Here is the shotgun with the magazine tube extension installed. It is unloaded. The bolt locks back when there are no more shells in the magazine tube. It locks back when it's unloaded. Let's see how many shells it can hold now. These are two and three quarter inch shells. If you're gonna use longer ones, such as three inch or other loads with a longer length, you will hold less capacity. So for two and three quarter inch shells, we can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 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 two and three, eight, two and three quarter inch shells.